uh, it's basically in the autopilot right now as uh -huh. you can see you know it uh, does better than uh, human being driving I guess you know, it breaks when the front vehicle is braking. It makes sure that it doesn't go out of a lane and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's. And it's do more you think we should trust electronics for that? Like electronic. Uh... Well, I think the error rate is lesser than the human being. So uh, it's all like uh, computerized, and uh, the computer does all uh, the whole kind of what is that called? Uh, calculations uh, mm -hmm. faster than a human brain can do, I guess. Certain things, human beings are good in many things, you know, and uh, computer is good in certain things. So accuracy, I guess, is much more better than the human beings. So we are on our way to um, Portland, Oregon. So uh, this is called autopilot. And uh, while in autopilot, what happens is that like, you know, it does the computation, like a computer does the whole work like you know calculating okay who is crossing the road right now the red vehicle came so the car knows when to brake and when to turn the steering so it's pretty easy for a long drives mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about uh, driving yourself you know um, so yeah it's much more easier as you can see you know it takes the turn by itself yeah yeah it knows it can distinguish the lines that are uh, on the road it, it's not. Uh, it's basically not the full self-driving, uh -huh. which is called autopilot. Full self-driving is a feature where you just input the address where you want to go, and uh, it just uh, you know it takes there. I mean, you don't need to do anything. It does the lane changing, and uh, it does everything by itself, like giving the lights, making sure who is in front of you. So full self-driving is a little bit expensive, mm -hmm. but I think that's the fully automated driving style. This one is autopilot. We are aware it just tracks the road and uh, other vehicles and uh, emergency situation. So yeah, it's pretty easy to for a long drives in a autopilot comparing with what it used to be in the past. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's pretty comfortable, like you can see it. But you need to monitor, of course. Yeah. It's a computer, so. You need to keep your hands on the, uh, what's like, that called? Yeah, once in a while, oh, you need to make while, sure yeah. that you let the computer know that, hey, that you're still I'm here, there, yeah. yeah, I'm there and I'm watching. So, uh, oh. yeah, that's the thing. Hey, Baba. Yeah. What happens if you don't touch the, uh, you know, well, it will give you a warning like hey you know what it seems like there is no one on the vehicle so it's uh -huh. just gonna take you to a side of a road and stop somewhere oh. safe if you don't let the computer know that you are there watching uh -huh. what's going on so you cannot completely just go to sleep like this you have to once in a while oh, it's beautiful yeah it is sunny day it's fun uh -huh. <laughs> you can see the clouds clouds and my son Hi, son. Hi. So this is your uh, first day of the vlog, uh, the trip to Portland. Yeah. Uh, like, what's the difference between like driving in Mercedes and like Tesla? What's the difference? I think Tesla is like more um, planted on the road and uh -huh. um, it's uh, more easy to drive. Like, you don't have to do much. Like, it uh -huh. drives by itself, basically. And uh, it has lots of safety features. Um, there is a possibility of range, range anxiety, like you know, oh, I might not be able to make it sometimes because uh, uh, the superchargers are not as many as uh, gas stations, you know. Oh, so that's the drawback, right? That's not drawback. That's just because we are not used to with the electronic vehicles, uh -huh. and we don't have gas station. I mean, the superchargers as much as gas station. So that's I think natural feeling. But like you know, it just takes around twenty minutes to uh, charge. To charge your car, like you know, uh -huh. supercharger can charge your car in uh, twenty minutes, two hundred and fifty kilowatts per hour. Uh -huh. So basically, in one hour, <coughs> I mean, you know. It's a lots of charging you can do and there are lots of superchargers on the freeways nowadays almost like you know and not only tesla supercharger you can use any electronic vehicle superchargers in this car um so yeah i'm not worried actually you know just don't want to go too far on the off-roading like you know in 
outside too too far to 300 miles but otherwise like it's perfect so uh, I think it's a it's a really good vehicle We are going towards Kelman Supercharger, so uh, we are going to supercharge our car right now. Um, I think we don't have much of a juice left, uh, as far as I can see. I think the juice is just in around 25% right now. So yeah, let's fill up some uh, battery, right? And as you can see, um, this is the road. And we are going towards Supercharger, but I can see the Supercharger. Where is it? Let's go to 0 0.2 miles and take a left turn from here, I guess. I hope to be on the right way towards the supercharger right now. So this is a Kelman city. You can see the city. It's beautiful. How was your sleep, my boy? Oh, yeah, it's a Tesla coming. Oh, that's a that, that's a supercharger. Okay, now we can see Tesla's coming and going. Yeah. Oh, it has a building on it. So this is a Satak. This is a Tesla supercharger. Oh, I see. We, we go and inside. supercharge our car from here. Ah. This is how we go. Oh, it has a beautiful. I think it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So I'm just wondering where I should uh, park my car and charge. Oh, we have all empty stuff. No one is there. You can charge anywhere you want. You, you can charge it here. I think we have to leave a few places so everyone gets a super charge, you know? Oh. So how long it's gonna take? I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. So this one is uh, like, what did you say? This is the biggest uh, Tesla charger. Uh... Not biggest. Uh, this is like really good. I uh, got a good review. Uh, so this is how we are charging our car as you can see it's on charging mode right now so this place looks quite good you know so You want to buy something? You want to eat something? No? So you want to eat something? Gadi bari sa no kinum baby. Gadi mas kata. Jong ina ta jong lai na. What do you want to buy? You have to have a dinner. Adi gon dampuk sai. Oh, restaurant. Oh. Because we are going for a dinner, right? So.
have it. Have, have it. So we are charging our car. My hobby is cleaning the car. Are you done? Satak? Say hello. Supercharger? Uh, the Kettleman Supercharger, I guess, uh, it's really fast. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. I think it took us a few minutes to uh, charge it to 80% or 80. No, it's 8, no, what's the 78, right? Yeah, so we charged uh, 83 or 84%. Uh -huh. And that's pretty, I mean, enough. That's enough juice for a car. So, yeah, the experience was really good. So, why didn't you go for 100 then? Why did you only uh, charge till uh, 80? What happens is that you know the superchargers can like the charge till eighty percent very very fast in within few minutes, mm -hmm. but the remaining twenty percent they can actually take a long time, okay. and we don't want to waste the time, so we just charge eighty percent and we're on the road. So uh, yeah, that's what everyone should do, I guess. I don't think you should wait for it to be charged hundred percent. You don't need hundred percent mm -hmm. you know, because there are superchargers all along the way. And we can charge this whenever we want. Just stop for five minutes, charge oh. it, and you're good to go for 200 miles, 300 miles. Oh. So yeah, pretty good, and uh, it was a good experience. So it was our first time trying supercharger, right? Oh yeah. Chicken. Oh, chicken. Wow. Mm. Sat chicken. Oh, yeah. 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 It was Sunny. really good. I had a good time. We had a good uh, dinner. So yeah, it was really good at the end of the day. Sata? Huh? How, did you enjoy the food today? Yeah, I loved it. What do you have to say for Sunny uncle? Oh, thank you. Good food. I love chicken and everything. Ah. Uh. So we finally reached our destination.